After the fire was over, I could do nothing but stare and just sat by the ruins. But someone came for me. You there! <gasps> Little girl, hop on! What's the matter? You need not fear me, child. You can trust me. Come here. I was led by a voice that I couldn't quite place. And I was taken to this mountain. <gasps> you must live! Who are you? Yeah, who? No humans are allowed here. No demons are allowed here. Why don't you say something? Go on, say something. Let me guess, you're a half-demon, right? You're definitely a half-demon. Uh, a half-demon? What's going on here? Oh, Miss Yori. Miss Yori. Huh? Oh my, a child. Is something wrong? Are you okay? The voice said to give you this. Oh. Now I see. Well, my child, it appears you are tied to some strange destiny. <laughs> I welcome you. Miss Shiori invited me to stay with them, in that hidden village that half-demon children called home. Miss Shiori was a half-demon from the Demon Bat Tribe, and had the power to create barriers. It was her barrier that protected the peace of the village. You can call me Futa, and you can call me Raita. Your parents, do you know what happened to them? Yeah, what happened to them? I have no idea. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? My parents were hunted down by some humans. And my parents were hunted down by some demons. <gasps> but the thought of not knowing at all sounds even worse to me. 